There we go. Come on. Get over there, you little pumpkin pie haircutted freak. does make an awful sound. Doesn't even sound like an accordion. Can I please have a save panda or whatever they are? Please. Thank you. That helps. Surprise box on your head. Those are some huge ass barrels in the background. Like, now that I'm noticing them, those barrels must be like the size of a freaking house. What kind of giant drinks that large a bottle of soda? What, two health? For the fizzy prune monster. And honestly, like prune juice, come on. Shut your mouth, monkey. Oh, hi. It's gonna be like that, huh? Ha! I survived it. Apparently his fall top hair prevents him from being crushed. However, falling to death is a whole nother whole nother beast. Yes, 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 you're a big box. I see. Although those might have both been flukes. Woohoo! And back up a level. He really is the worst playing character. I mean, granted, his levels are the most, you know, whatever platformer, but, like, not having a ranged weapon sucks.
Alright, come on. Okay, see another switch right up there. Whoa! It's all a soda monster, huh? You dick! You're an asshole, too. It's a CD. And nobody uses CDs anymore. At least nobody rational. I mean, maybe for the car, but you can get MP3 support for your car, so you can just burn a data disk, and then it's done. I hate you! You know I could really use some help. But no. Okay, that's stupid. Obviously, I didn't really think that one through. You! Enough! I'm already pretty much dead anyway, so... Yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. Get away from me. Ah! I just, I just really want to be done with this game. Because this game certainly isn't repetitive at all. Okay, seriously, this is probably like the, like, if there's a level after this, I don't even want to see it. Come on, kill the freaking soda monsters. They do two damage to you and take like 30 hits to kill. And by 30, I mean like four. It's not very much a super punch if it's so easily countered. Like, you'd think a super punch would, like, insta-kill a monster. Far off. Finally. You know, the monkeys kind of look more like bears than monkeys. They look like Care Bears with tails, and trees growing out of their head. Okay. A soda tanker. <laughs> Make it cap locks and put more periods in between every letter. Strato tanker. Uh, Sonic Blast of the Rainbow Monkey Sing.
now that I can see what's going on. Okay. Why do I have some super-powered mecha machine? And apparently it's hurt by prune juice and has the slowest... Look at this. He can just blast me in the face, but I have to... Am I even hitting him? I can't even, like, tell if I'm hitting him. Look at this. He can fire faster and longer range than I can. That sound is, is not annoying or anything. And I'm dead again. Why would you give five hit points for a freaking boss like this? Ugh, you jump like you're made out of dog shit. Could have at least made the last boss battle interesting as opposed to this. Ugh, oh, finally. Ugh. Yeah, swimming in soda is not a good idea. I can fast forward it. Yeah, this game started being remotely interesting and then went to basically to like the game Tasmania. It's like, oh, you, you just walk forward and get insta killed pretty much. Mr. Warburton. Mr. Warburton, for your designing the story, you should be uh, looked in upon. S I mean, seriously, juicing children? What were they thinking? This game was pretty much a snore fest. Not all that interesting. Ah, uh, Dan Dick and Dixon, priceless. The worst part is I think there's like two or three more of these. A lot of the games for the G GBA, the Gibba, uh, had way too many sequels. I think there's like nine or ten Final Fantasy games for Game Boy Advance. That's not even including the multitudes of ones for regular Game Boy. Uh, well, that's all. For Let's Play Kids, Kids Next Door, I think code name Soda Juice Tanker. I have no idea. Uh, code name Soup. Uh. All right, well that's all for this shit show.
with me, Mark Dice. See you later.